Hi, welcome to your weekly tarot reading, and this week's reading is for January the 30th to February the 5th. And I first want to wish everybody a happy Enmolk. And Enmolk is on February the 1st, and it's a holiday, a pagan holiday, that celebrates the return of spring. This is the period in which we see the first signs of spring. Days slightly lengthen. Here comes the sun. All right, and for the main focus, we got the Ten of Wands, and I also pulled a card from the Druid Animal Oracle deck, and we got the Blackbird. And I feel like the Blackbird is coming in as a spirit guide to bring back a little bit of magic into our lives. With the Ten of Wands, I just feel like we've been working really hard and putting a lot of effort into things, and that's good. However, I just feel like this week it would be a good idea to take some time to really enjoy the day and to enjoy the magic that surrounds us. And blackbirds have a beautiful song, and I feel like this week it would be a good idea to really just to really just enjoy the beauty of nature and the beauty that surrounds us. Listen to a beautiful song or look at some beautiful artwork. I just feel like this week we need, we need to do things that bring back a little bit of magic <laughs> into our lives. And yeah, it's just so important to really just, just to enjoy the magic of the day and the beauty of the day. All right. For the challenge, we got the world. And the world represents the planet Saturn, and Saturn is all about the hard lessons. You know, with Saturn, you gotta earn it. Um, and with the world card being the challenge, it, it may be difficult to complete something this week. Um, but I just feel like patience is required here. Don't give up. I just feel like patience is required and to really I feel like it's important for us to really believe in ourselves and to just keep at it you know once again with Saturn you got to prove yourself you got to earn it <laughs> things aren't just gonna fall into your lap effortlessly you got to really earn it you got to work for it and I, I also feel like it's important at the same time to really to just go with the flow with things and to just enjoy the journey. Enjoy the process of completing your goals. You know, step by step, day by day, you'll get there. I just feel like it's so important for us to have patience. Um, and what's going right this week, you know, something to look forward to, is the Five of Wands. And so, I feel like we are getting some much-needed hands-on experience. Um, you know, I just feel like it's like we're learning by doing. For example, you're not going to learn how to ride a bike until you actually go out there and do it. You know, you can read all you want about how to ride a bike or watch videos or have somebody explain it to you, but you're not going to know how to do it until you actually go out there and do it. And I feel like this week we're getting some hands-on experience. Um, it's like we're learning through doing. And I feel like it's so important for us to believe in ourselves and just know that you have that special something that's, that's going to really help you move forward in whatever goals that you have. So just keep at it this week. Basically, this week I just feel like it's so important for us to have patience and to keep at it. And once again, if... It, you need a break this week. I feel like it's also important for us to, once again, to just enjoy the moment. To enjoy the beauty of nature. I feel like that will really, you know, recharge our batteries. Alright. For the beginning of the week, we got the Five of Cups. And I feel like this week, it's so important for us to realize that we have a lot going for us. It's important for us to not dwell on what hasn't gone right and to instead focus in on what has gone right and 
to realize that we have a lot going for us. I feel like what hasn't gone right just wasn't meant to be. And it was a blessing in disguise that it didn't work out for us. Sometimes it's really hard to see that in the moment. But I feel like that is this energy, you know? I just feel like what hasn't worked out hasn't worked out for a reason. Um, for example, um, let's just say a certain job didn't work out for somebody. Um, but then they later got a job that was even better. And so, you know, in the moment... They didn't see that, you know, when they, when that job didn't work out for them. They may have not been able to see that, but later down the road, when they got a better job, they realized that that was a good thing, that that certain job didn't work out. I just feel like we're going through something that is really a blessing in disguise. Alright, and for the middle of the week, we got the night... The Knight of Wands here. And the Knight of Wands is all about moving forward, being persuasive, being charming. And some of you may even be getting a gift this week, or you may be giving somebody else a gift. Um, but I just feel like, in general, the smell of the week, we're getting some more motivation back. Um, it just seems like, you know, we're really wanting to move forward, and it just seems like there's more energy to this <laughs> middle of the week, you know. It just seems like we're being more inspired, more motivation, just wanting to move forward. Um, Alright, and for the end of the week, we got the King of Wands, and I feel like by the end of the week, we're wanting more of an adventure. We've been working hard, but now... Towards the end of the week, we want more of an adventure. We want to expand our horizons and to learn more. And to just really... I feel like by the end of the week, we're really wanting to just enjoy the day. And I also feel like there's a certain curiosity. <laughs> it's like there's this spontaneous energy as well. And so, you know, just go and do it. If you've been wanting to visit that new cafe or to visit that town you haven't been to before, why not? <laughs> this weekend, have some fun. Bring back some magic and see your life. All right. Well, have a wonderful week, everybody, and thanks so much for watching and being part of my channel. I appreciate each and every one of you. And if you would like a personal reading, where I can look into your situation with more details, book a private reading with me. And you can do so by emailing me at tarakite at hotmail.com. All right, well, take care, everybody.